Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to tackle a very important question today, and that is when to buy Future Stars cards. We're going to look at a lot of the Future Star cards today, talk about the possibility of their prices going lower in the next couple of days. As they've already dropped a decent amount, I know a lot of people are interested in uh, finding that exact time that is the perfect buy price for these cards, because that's important to a lot of people, right? We don't want to lose coins. I don't want to make you lose coins and we need to talk about what these cards prices could possibly do over the next few weeks looking at what cards have done during this promo what's coming up ahead and then what cards did last year as well because i think using last year cards as kind of like um something we can go back on is just uh, you know a general a general thing that we can look at to also help us uh be informed about what could be coming in the future Obviously, this year in foot is way different than last year in foot. So there's a little bit of a differentiation there that we can't exactly compare them, you know, um, apples to apples and say that whatever happened last year is exactly going to happen this year because I really don't think we can say that. But I do feel like there are a few things that we can take from last year and apply to this year. I'm currently broke right now because I'm flipping a bunch of cards just trying to make coins so that I can feel okay about doing more upgrade SBCs to try to pack a uh, future stars card so that's the reason why i have zero coins at the moment i'm just trying to make coins to waste them on upgrades and pack one of these cards right here that is the whole entire goal of me doing the uh of the trading right now and that's why i'm broke but let's talk about these future stars because they just keep dropping and dropping and they're you know some of them have dropped a considerable amount of coins let's look at Zhao felix first 2.1 mil under 2.1 mil for this card and he was 2.7 selling actually i saw a few of them sell earlier on friday when they first came into packs for 2.9 mil when we had the whole server issues and the downtime and lightning rounds didn't sell out and all that but this guy's down to 2 mil why are these cards dropping so much like these cards are dropping a bunch just today uh jao felix went from 2.3 mil on xbox and now he's down to 2.1 under 2.1 mil those look like some pretty nasty undercuts right there to be honest i'm gonna look at him right now and look at his supply i don't feel like he's gonna be 2.1 for that long because that seems that seems to be pretty cheap for me that seems to be pretty cheap for me i'm gonna take you guys back over to the screen to show you really quick jao felix at 2.2 okay see those the one that popped up at 2095 was definitely an undercut uh and we'll see if maybe this one with a, a start price well those start prices aren't really that cheap either so we'll see if we add this one to the transfer targets and if it sells uh, but that's what you guys should be doing if you're interested in any of these cards. Start watching their prices. Watch what happens in the middle of the day. And as these cards get packed through pack supply SBCs and stuff, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But you can tell a lot about a card and how much demand it has just by like when the card gets undercut by a little bit, how many people are there waiting to buy that card right away. I've heard a lot of people say this card is fantastic. A lot of people want him. Uh, I think a lot of people want this Tonali card as well. Um, I've heard a, a lot of good things about people saying that they have thoroughly enjoyed this card. So this card has dropped like 100K, I think, in the last day or so. He's right around a mil, 10, 20 right now, 1 mil, 20,000. For this card, absolutely crazy card anyway. Hold it, gang. All the, the bells and whistles, really solid CDM. Um, but in general, for these cards, I think there's a general time that I can say to you guys that I think they're going to be the lowest. And I think that time frame is either Wednesday before rewards for some of the top tier ones or Thursday at rewards. And here's my thinking with that. We say a lot of times that these cards are usually going to be their cheapest um, during weekend league rewards because they just get packed a lot, right? And then people buy them up afterwards. We don't see as much buyback on weekend league rewards for these cards. And at least we didn't with headliners last week um because the headliners went down thursday actually last week the guys from set two but that is also partially due to the fact that we knew a promo was coming um for these new these new future stars cards we knew we had the loading screens coming this week we know that we are getting um more future stars players we're going to be getting a set two um but these cards man a lot of people want these cards in their squads this max aarons is a lot of people rodrigo greenwood has been talked about a lot um Kabak is one of the only special center backs in the Bundesliga. He's going to retain some value, right? So these cards are pretty rare, but right now they just don't have a ton of demand and not a lot of people are looking at them. And I think, oh my gosh, this card's 100K. You're telling me this card's 100K? He was 170. Unbelievable. 
yeah, some of these guys are dropping off a ton, and I just think they're, they're, some of them are getting kind of cheap, right? A lot of people right now are just focused on getting the icon swap tokens. They're focused on um, doing objective players. We have two of those that are going on right now. So I think most people are just right now tied up in objectives and they're tied up in other things in the game and they're not going out and buying these cards and trying them like they did on the weekend because they did that for weekend league so i do think that thursday or wednesday night could be a potential buy time for these cards as they get packed or as they get panic sold before rewards uh, and of course during rewards you see the lower tier ones they get hit more with the pack supply like an, an Aaron's or a Kamara or the Emerson Diaby Martinez those guys might get hit a little bit more during rewards just because they're going to get packed more um, but then you actually want to buy the upper tier cards most times this happens not always but you want to buy those cards beforehand because those don't get packed as much but there's still people that want to go out and try the cards so like Greenwood right Greenwood is a card that a lot of people want to use He's on 1.2 mil. He's been causing some waves this week in the game because this card uh, is pretty expensive. Is it a good card? That's kind of up for you to decide, man. But people say that it, that it is pretty good. And he's just, you know, he's plays for Manchester United. He's English. He's got the, the really big boost. And he's just got the hype. So that's why a lot of people are onto this card. 1.2 million coins right now at the moment. Um, I would see probably a little bit more panic selling on him. There's probably going to be other attackers in the second set of future stars. So there's a couple of these cards I'm going to talk about today that could be a little bit worrisome to maybe buy earlier rather than later. And I would have a little bit of a worry that some of these cards might drop due to the second set being really hyped, right? Let's say they put Haaland into the second set. You might see Felix and Greenwood take a little bit of a hit because people might sell those cards that they're trying out and instead go try out the new Haaland Future Stars card and stuff like that. But uh, for in the general sense of things, I think Thursday for the Week in the Rewards time period during that pack opening spree is probably going to be a time where you're going to want to pick up some of the lower tier cards. Like if you want this Dembele card in your squad, I mean, this dude's 100,000 coins right now. All day today, he was 120. In the middle of the day, he dropped down to like 110, 115. But if you see this guy at 100K or under 100K, I, that's honestly disgraceful, man. Four-star skills, three-star weak foot, French striker. That, that's a really cheap card anybody could put in their squad right away. Emerson being one of the only, being the Brazilian right back in the game. There's really, we don't have Danny Alves anymore. And I said this earlier this week. This card right here is a huge one for me out of packs. I think it will rise because there's just not that many right backs in the game this year, especially Brazilian right backs. This guy's going to be huge for links. If you need Brazilian links to your right back, which there's a lot of Brazilian um, guys that are in La Liga, you know, we have Militao, we have Diego Carlos that people are using. So this could be a perfect card that links to them. If you see this guy like 140, uh, you know, 150 is kind of low for him already, but you know, we're talking Xbox prices. He would dipped under 150 at one point today. Um, I would say watch these cards very, very closely today on Wednesday and even in rewards on Thursday tomorrow because people's, people's, you know, they're going to transition to being interested into the weekend league again, right? They're going to be getting done with their swaps or they'll put their swaps on the back burner um, as we get into the weekend for weekend league because. That's what people do in the weekends, man. They play the freaking weekend league. That's what they do. That's what we see people grind. That's why that's why Thursday flipping has worked in the past is because people play weekend league on the weekends and that's all that they do. So I think you'll see a more of a return to people looking to buy these cards um, on, on Wednesday. Honestly, you might see these cards uptick a little bit at some point on Wednesday, but I would wait to see what kind of content we get Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK. If we get a player SBC that could cause some panic selling to some of the other FFS cards, FFS meaning future stars, I would very, very closely watch that. And if we get a pack supply SBC as well, that could be a good time to get on some of these cards on a bid or on a snipe. If there are, if there's pack supply of those cards coming onto the game, that could be something that you, you look into as well. You know, today we got the, um, the Daniel James objective and that was all the content that we got and of course you can turn in that Daniel James for a 50k pack if you don't want the card but there was no like market content today again they they're really making fee people focus on the objective stuff right now and that's drawing people's attention away from these cards these cards are rare bro these cards are actually pretty rare like how many pages of Emerson do we have at 20k at 30k above his current price of 150k at 30k above that, he's in packs right now, and there's only how many pages above his current price? 30k above. How many pages? 10 pages? 
nine pages. That's not a lot for the PlayStation market. Um, even though it's in a kind of a more dead time of the night, 4 million live transfers, there's still a decent amount of transfers out here. This guy does not have a lot of supply, 30,000 coins above his lowest price right now. And there's only 10 pages of supply. That's really not a lot. I know it seems like a lot, but you think about it, like how many cards per page, like 10 or 11 cards per page. That's only a hundred cards on this market. It's only a hundred people in this game that would want to have to go out and buy Emerson and then boom, his price is like 170, 180. So that's a very interesting thing to think about. Look at the supply when you're looking at these cards. And again, what I mentioned was um, about figuring out their demand, right? This Emerson sitting at the 59th minute, 149. Is this getting sniped right away? Not quite. It is nighttime, but during the day when you're looking at these cards, add some of these cards to your, to your watch list, man. Another good thing to do is to do um, get a feel for the demand on that card and how willing people are to spend coins on it is look at open bids watch open bid prices and see if they actually go above the actual selling price at the 59th minute of the card it's like Ever emerson is 149k but if there's people that are bidding up to like 155 or 160 that might be a stretch but 155 that could tell you like bro people are thinking this card's above 150k that just shows you that there is a lot of demand for that type of card but again for the lower tier cards just to cover this generally again Lower tier cards like a Max Aarons, like an Emerson, a Diaby, Martinez, Dembele. I would even throw Kamara in that bunch. Um, and Mason Mount too. I would say those guys are going to get packed a decent amount of rewards. Wait until rewards comes and the packs come to rip those. The only slight thing I have with that is people might be saving their rewards, their tradable packs until Saturday or not Saturday, until Friday at 6 p.m. UK when the new set of FFS come out. But I feel like less people would do that because these cards are still in packs and they'll want a chance to pack them. So I think people will open their packs on Thursday. At least a majority of people will. So, you know, a guy like Felix or Greenwood, either wait on those cards or buy them before rewards um, if you can. Or maybe try to get one on an open bid after rewards. But then the lower tier stuff like an Emerson, Aarons, those guys, I would say look at them during rewards. I want to take a look at over on uh, Twitter really quick. I want to find a team of the week prediction and look at this really quick because um, this could cause some market movements today that we need to be looking out for in this game of FIFA Ultimate Team. Okay, FIFA Ultimate Team market movements. I want to take a quick peek at this with you guys right now. And I don't see... Um, actually, you know what? We didn't look at the FIFA 19 stuff. Let's look at the FIFA 19 stuff really quick. FIFA 19 FFS cards, right? What do these guards do out of packs? I'm going to look at three of these as examples. Trent Alexander-Arnold, he was his cheapest on Thursday of last year, Thursday or Friday. He rose from 415,000 coins, two weeks later being about 500K, and then peaked at 576 a little bit later. John and Sancho, again, you can tell the cheapest cards, the cheapest days for these cards last year were Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday for these FFS cards last year were the cheapest, and that is basically today and tomorrow. Um, these guys, a lot of these were the cheapest. So I'm still kind of feeling that that is kind of the move with some of these. I'm going to try to find a foot bin team of the week prediction. Nope. There's not one on foot bin either. So let's just, um, let's just, uh, look this up really quick. Team of the week prediction. And let's find one that we can look at. Boom. Here is a team of the week prediction right here. Boom. Team of the Week prediction right here by Elitage Design. What an absolute top lad. Follow Elitage De Design on Twitter, boys, right here. Elitage Design. Cool guy. I definitely know who he is. Um, he's got Tellez, Mendy, Delict, Sarabia, Firmino, Sancho. So there's some interesting market movements that we could we could see today with the Firmino card getting another special. Furland Mendy getting an inform would be nuts. Uh, Delict, a once to watch upgrade. Does he have Rudiger in here? I feel like Rudiger should be in here as well. He, he does not have Rudiger. Interesting. He's got Yeramina, but no Rudiger. I feel like Rudiger could get in. Uh, and then Tellez getting a headliner upgrade is possible as well. He's got Yuris in there instead of Bergwin. So we'll see what happens. But of course, live item upgrades, right? We're talking about Salah is possibly getting a team of the week as well. Um, if Salah gets a team of the week card, right now the Salah headliner is actually down in price. He's right around 2 million coins flat, where before he was around 2.1 mil before he got his upgrade. He's actually under 2 million coins right now. So this Salah card 
if he goes to a 95 tomorrow, if he does get in, I think you'll see this car jump up a little bit, maybe to 2.1 or 2.2 because of him getting a 95 rated card. And this Tellez card right now, this is inflated a lot, man. I know it's a Brazilian left back. I know he's hyped up, but 300K, right around 300K for this card, I feel like is a lot. I feel like it's a lot for this Tellez. Let me actually find... There's none at 290. Okay, so 300,000 coins. This guy's basically 300K, man. That's a lot for this card. Yes, he could go to 90 pace, 90 passing, and over 80 physical. I hope he gets in Team of the Week personally, but if I were you, I would take the safe route and I would sell the card, take the money. Um, their team plays Benfica this weekend, and Benfica is number one in the Liga Nos. So if they do end up winning this weekend, I think his card would regain some value. If he doesn't get in Team of the Week, of course, with these headliner cards, watch for the panic selling opportunity. If you see him back down to like 220, 210,000 coins, which I don't think would happen, but even at like 230K, I would be very interested in the panic selling to buy back into that and watch him rebound back up from that um, uh, from that panic sell. So just watch the panic selling this week on some of those cards, especially the Salah, especially the Tellez. Um, and if any of the cards that come out in the team of the week, I know this is just a prediction again, but if any of the cards that come out in team of the week, um, that could affect some of the future star prices, right? So let's say we get like a, like Firmino comes out. Could that link to any of the future stars? Not really. Um, maybe we get Rudiger, maybe Mount's price goes up a little bit. Probably not. Uh, but you know, I'm just trying to look at some links here. Um, that could be affected. Like, let's say we get Salah. Salah wouldn't really affect too much of this. Um, but maybe there's somebody that gets in team of the week that um, is a link investment or is a um, another one of these cards. Like let's say we get like a center attack in mid that's uh, like if we got a James Madison in form, just for an example, right? Mason Mount would probably drop because that's a similar position, similar nationality and similar league than that card. So just watch out for a possible bit of panic selling on some of these future stars cards because of the team of the week coming out depending and dependent on who is in the team of the week. So those are my thoughts on when to buy future stars cards. And then a little bit of a uh, conversation about team of the week that is coming this week as well. Team of the week number 21. We are above team of the week 20. So it's crazy. Second half of the year on foot. Time flies, man. Time is flying. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.